Hey guys, Konnichiwa. So, today, I'm finally making my own vegetable garden. I got some wood pieces already from home center, but I still need to get some more stuff, so I'm leaving for home center. When I was living in an apartment, I rented a community garden, and it was nice, I liked it a lot. But I really wanted to own my own garden, so I'm really excited. Okay, I'm off to go. And bricks. Wow, they had hot pepper from all over the world. This one, the spice level is 1.2 million. Wow. Okay, so I called Rachel and I talked. These, even for her, it's way too much. She says she wants to try this 20,000 and 100,000. These two apparently Japanese pepper. This is like exceptional. <laughs> I'm shopping, going back home. Hey baby, I'm back. Tadaima. <laughs> okay, first I'm going to apply the sealant on the wood pieces. And then, before I can start building, I'm gonna have to weed. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. Come out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little too busy. I'll let you out later, okay? That's his on board and play myself mode. <laughs> Okay, I'm done sealing. So next. So this is where I'm thinking making the bed. So I'm gonna have to weed first. Okay, done weeding. Next, I'm gonna place the blicks I got. Okay, the base is done. The sun is setting, so I'm gonna do the next step tomorrow. Hey, good morning. Hi. You're looking outside? You're so warm. <laughs> you doing the sunlight? Okay, the plates look completely dried. So, I got some blueberries. These two are still pretty young. This one is medium large. He's as tall as me. And for these two, I'll have to prune them. Ideally, I should prune them in winter, but it's better than not doing it. I want him to use his energy and nutrition to grow bigger as a tree. If he uses a lot of energy and nutrition to grow these fruits and I keep harvesting them, then he will not grow big and he will remain small. I love Komorebi sunlight in early summer. It's beautiful. Okay, burning is done. Let's work on the bed. Okay, next I'm gonna cultivate. Okay, done cultivating. Yes. Nicely dried. Nice. Okay. 
It is ready. Hazu was. Wow. It's not. Dude, it's so beautiful. You like it? Yes. All right. The frame is done. It is two meter wide. This is definitely big enough for the first bed. And this plate can be handy, especially when we do harvest. I can just bring a basket and scissors or whatever I need, tools to harvest. I can just leave them here while I'm harvesting. It's also slightly tilted this way so that if like the fruit or veggie almost fell, this would help this will prevent falling out. Next, I'm going to place this sheet inside around the side of the bed so that the soil will not touch the wood pieces directly so that the wood pieces will last longer. Ta-da! The bed is done. Oh, it took a lot longer than expected. Sun is already setting. So I put a separator here. Uh, this side on the left, I'm planning to plant blueberries, which prefers slightly acidic soil. And on this side, I'm planning to plant normal veggies. And a lot of, most vegetables prefer neutral or close to neutral. All right, this is it for today. Next, I'm going to put soil and cultivate and plant veggies and fruits. Yay, I like it. And I'm really glad Rachel likes it too. Next, cultivating and planting. Here we go. Okay, soil is good. Next, planting the blueberries. I got Rabbit eye? Is it? Is it how it's called in English? I have no idea. This one is rabbit eye bright or where? Bright well. Mm. And this one is also rabbit eye bird wing. And this one's hybrid of uh, rabbit eye and bush type. This one's apparently a little pinkish and tastes like lemonade. I can only harvest a little bit this year, but I can't wait. To harvest a lot. <laughs> okay. Planting. Okay, finally mulching with pitomosu. This one is not adjusted, so the acidity, soil acidity 3.724. I'm gonna put this on top as mulch. This one's coconut chips. Morning. The next day. Hmm. So it's still moist but dried. Blueberries love water and I can't let them dry for too long. So I'm also going to mulch. Co cocoa chip. <laughs> okay. Coconut chip. Cocoa chip. Yes, blueberry garden is done. I like it. It's really cute. I can't wait to harvest them. Please grow well. So I got these two spicy pepper for Rachel. I have zero tolerance for spice, like hot stuff. So, yep, just for Rachel. And I got some paprika, fruity. Fruity pepper. This soil pH is already adjusted, so it's close to seven, which is neutral. 
I might add some organic garden line to make it slightly more close to neutral, but yeah, it's always good. All right, fruit and vegetable raised bed is done. A lot of our neighbors are farmers, so we get a ton of vegetables and fruits for free. And I always feel bad for not having stuff to return, give them back. So I hope I can like harvest some of these blueberries and give them back. Because I haven't gotten blueberries from them. I don't think they are growing blueberries and crazy spicy paper. I don't know if I want to give that as a return. But yeah, I like it. Hey baby. Good morning. <laughs> Like really comfy there. <laughs> Do you like that spot? It's blueberry. <laughs> Beto, he's having fun. Oh, he found something. He found something. <laughs> hey, what did you find? Bugs? All right, let's go. It's getting hot. Let's go, baby. Is that a, is that a no? <laughs> Rachel, he doesn't want to move. He is. So, I realized that I got this a few years ago. <laughs> I can't even tell. I wanted to grow some fruits in my community garden, but I end up not using it. And. Ta -da! I have to do something about birds, so I think I'm gonna use these frames to protect my blueberries from birds. Yay, the frame is done. When it gets close to the harvest season, I'm gonna put a net around it so that birds can't steal them. <laughs> okay, I totally forgot, but I'm glad that I remembered. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.